Hey, groups, welcome today to uh, our groups video. I'm not Matt. I'm not the, the groups pastor because Matt and Jalen had their baby. Not Matt had their baby. Jalen had their baby. And Matt and Jalen are doing great. And little McKenna's at home and doing well. And we're just excited and thrilled for them. But I'm covering for Matt today as he is busy being a dad and loving it. I'm getting a lot of pictures from him, and it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, here's the icebreaker we have for you. Make sure you do this. This one's kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, make sure you, you do this because it's just a great question. We all have these stories of our childhood. So get on that icebreaker, ask the questions, and have some fun. And you'll find out new things about your group and, uh, and different dynamics in their life and things that went on. So take a minute, ask the icebreaker question, and then we're going to dive in. I should have told you to read the scripture after you do the icebreaker. So real quick, <laughs> pause this, read the scripture, and then come back. You know, Matt wouldn't allow these kinds of mistakes. But guess what? Matt's not here. As we jump into the discussion questions, here's the thing. If you only answer one of these discussion questions because the discussion goes great, awesome. That's fine. If you answer all of them and get right through them, that's great as well. These are meant to help you, you know, really be in the Word of God together as a group discussing things. So it's not about getting finished. It's about really getting into this together and uh, walking in the Word of God with the community of God. So here's your first question. When you read verse 4, what thoughts come to mind? And don't forget, after you pause this, there's some little follow-up questions on that sheet. Group facilitators, you can ask those as follow-ups. So question number one, when you read verse, th verse four, what thoughts come to mind? Question number two, Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, so he waited. Is this confusing for you to read or hear that? Question number three. Mary and Martha blurted these words out to Jesus. Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Take a minute and describe to your group a time where you felt that way. Question number four, why do you think Jesus wants us to invite him to come and see the areas in our life where there's hurt? When you read the reaction Jesus had in verses 33 and 35, how does that make you feel? Question number six, what would happen to the church if everyone said, come and see to Jesus when they were hurting? One, uh, question number seven, once Jesus uh, was invited to see the hurt, what did he do with it? Final question, can you invite him? Well, groups, thank you for joining us today. If you got through all those questions and you have the time, we would love for you to jump into the Digging Deeper section. It's a chance for you to really, um, well, as it says, dig deeper into the Word, into conversation, and wrestle with these things. So please feel free to make use of those questions if you have the time. If you do not, my hope and my prayer is this, that you find yourself comforted, loved, and cared for by Christ, the community of Christ in the church, and know that um, we are thrilled to have you walking deeply in the Word of God as a community. Bless you, and have a great week.